These 20 super simple tips will show you how to stop spending money. And the best part is, you don't need to practice them all. Instead, choose 2-3 to three tips that you think would fit best in your life to help you curb your spending habits. Be sure to watch until the end, so you can figure out which tips are your favorite that you can start using today. Number 1. Use food in your pantry. If you still have usable food in your pantry, then do you really need to go to the grocery store? It can be easy to avoid making use of the items you have in your pantry, simply because you'll have to make a meal with a little bit more effort. But it's a great way to curb your impulse buying. If you aren't the best chef around, then use Google and search for recipes with the ingredients you have. We're sure you'll be amazed at the things you can make with very little food. Number 2. Track your spending. There's no better way to avoid spending than to see just how much you're actually spending. For some people, the mere shock of how much they spend on useless things is enough to bring them on track to frugal living. But really, if you don't know how much you're spending on your daily life, then start tracking it so you can learn to make the best choices and save the most money. Number 3. Take advantage of free facilities near you. Are you someone who feels they need to spend money to have a good time? Well, there's a way around that. For example, instead of going to your favorite restaurant, you could search free attractions near me on Google to see what cool places exist around you. The best part is, all these places are free and can provide you with just as much fun as a restaurant or bar. Number 4. Make a shopping list. Going into a grocery store determined to only buy what you need, but coming out with a cart so full of things that they're falling in the parking lot is a reality to some people. The best weapon against impulsive spending in the grocery store is to make sure you make a specific and detailed list that you stick to. By sticking to your list, you'll steer clear of all the tempting sales that lure you to buy more items, so you can save more money. Number 5. Pack a lunch. Lunch doesn't have to be a sandwich at Subway. Sure, they may be relatively cheap, but if you're finding that you're only eating out because it's convenient, then maybe you should try making lunches at home. Firstly, it'll be much cheaper to make your own lunch. Secondly, it'll be much healthier. And thirdly, with a little time and practice, it'll taste much better than anything you could get from takeout. Number 6. Shop at thrift stores. Struggling to stop impulse buying, especially for personal items, can be a serious challenge. Since stopping cold turkey isn't for everyone, you can slow down the amount you're spending by shopping at thrift stores. This way, you can avoid overspending, still get lots of items, and start practicing the frugal living tip only spending money on what you really need. Number 7. Wait a few days before a purchase. On the topic of buying personal items, there's no better filter than time. For example, if you're looking to buy an item on the expensive side, then give yourself at least 3 days before you buy it. After a few days have passed, see if you still want to buy the item. If not, then it was likely an impulse buy. But, if you still feel that you need the item, then it's more likely a purchase that will be of use to you. Number 8. Grow your own herbs. Did you know that herbs are some of the easiest and cheapest plants to grow? And many of them can be grown on a windowsill in your kitchen or living room. Another little tip many people are unaware of is that you can regrow a lot of produce you eat from scraps. For example, if you enjoy green onions, then keep an inch above the root and submerge the roots in water. Within a few days, you'll end up with a new green onion growing. The same trick works with lettuce and even celery. Number 9. Don't give in to peer pressure. Peer pressure is a great way to empty your wallet. Unfortunately, it's easy to get caught in a friend circle, either with people who are financially well off or those who don't care to practice frugality. However, if you're looking to find ways to stop spending so much, then you'll have to step your foot down and not give in to the expensive outings that your friends might be planning. Instead, try to offer cheaper alternatives, where you can still have fun, but spend way less. Number 10. Use coupons. Don't be ashamed of using coupons. Even Warren Buffett, one of the richest people in the world, uses them. Coupons are a great way to make purchases you regularly make much cheaper. Or, if you struggle with impulse spending for things like eating out, then waiting to get a coupon to make your meal cheaper can help you save some extra cash in your pocket. Number 11. Set financial goals. One of the oldest and best ways to save is to write down your financial goals. Sometimes, just having a clear path to take to save money can really help avoid spending on unnecessary things. For example, if you want to start saving $100 extra every month, then you can build your budget around this goal and always ask yourself the question, do I really need this item? before making the purchase. Number 12. Forget your credit cards. Credit cards are too convenient, in the sense that all it takes is punching in some numbers online or tapping it on a machine, and you can make massive purchases. 
But there's one really simple way to avoid using your credit cards. Make them difficult to access. For example, get yourself a few boxes of different sizes, with a padlock for each. What you want to do is make a Russian doll contraption. Place one box into another, and into another, making it tedious to get your credit card. This can help you avoid getting your credit card for purchases, because it's no longer convenient. Number 13. Have date nights at home. Why go out for a date when you can have a wonderful and cheaper date at home? For instance, you and your significant other can enjoy cooking a full course meal together and then enjoy the food with a lovely setup table with nice music in the background. Essentially, you can have the date night of your dreams right in your own home without breaking the budget. Number 14. Practice no spend days. If you want to stop impulse buying, then sometimes it's best to just avoid spending at all. No spend days are a great way to accomplish this. Pick one day of the week when you don't spend on anything at all. It's in these days you'll find that you don't need to spend money every day to live or to be happy. Number 15. Meal Prep Meal prepping is a great way not only to cut down money spent on food, but also on the time it takes to make food, and the number of dishes you would have to wash. If you want a great frugal living tip to make the most of your food, then take the time to meal prep recipes. Number 16. Borrow books Are you an avid reader? Do you happen to buy new books whenever you can? Well, if you're on a tight budget, then maybe you can consider the library. This way, you can have all the books you want to read without having to spend a single cent. Number 17. Determine your spending triggers. It's normal for people to spend more when they're not at their best. If you resonate with this, then take the time to observe yourself when you get a spending urge. What do you feel like when you want to spend? Are you stressed? Is there a reason you're stressed? What do you think you'll accomplish by spending? Understanding what urges you to spend is a great way to stop it. Number 18. Save up for the holiday season. There's no doubt that the holidays are some of the most expensive times of the year, but we always know it's going to come. So, a great way to avoid impulse spending is to prepare as early as you can. In fact, create a specific savings account just for gifts during the holidays and add it to your monthly budget. This way, you'll always be prepared for that expensive time. Number 19. Plan your budget. Having a budget and being able to shift your expenses, income, and savings to tailor your own needs is an excellent way to save money and stop impulsive buying. For example, you can see what you're spending most on, so it becomes easy to cut that expense. Or, if you know what you're going to be spending on something, then plan your budget to save for that item. Number 20. Use cash. A great frugal tip is to live within your means and avoid spending on impulse is to use cash. Let's say that you need to go grocery shopping, and you know exactly what items you'll need. Instead of bringing your debit card, only bring the amount of cash you'll need for the purchase. This way, you can only spend as much as you have on you at the time, thus saving money. These are certainly great ways to stop spending money, but you might not know what to do with the extra money you now have. Fortunately, we've made this video about the best places to put your money. Click here to have the best results you really need.